Hello and Merry Meet. It is I, Made in My Mind again, and I wasn't planning on discussing a lot about myself, but um, I feel like to go forward I need to give you a little bit of a background on how I came about the path that I'm on. And um, I hope that these videos um, do increasingly get better, uh, especially seeing a um, new film camera method and um, hopefully that's much easier to hear me and see me <laughs> so that I can explain things more clearly. Um, I did grow up um, in a Christian background and for a while was very, um, very heavily influenced by the church. I was very, very religious at a young age and um, I always felt very close with God. Um, I felt like um, there shouldn't be a separation between me and God, that God was my friend. And I still felt that God was my friend. Um, I feel like if we are in theory created by a supreme being, that um, he wouldn't just want us to be on this earth wandering around aimlessly with um, no reason. He would want us for companions. Or I say he, but she is accurate as well. Because God is genderless and God is all and in everything and in everywhere. People put limits on God and put God in boxes and that's not right. And, I mean, no one's perfect so I'm sure what I tell you won't even be perfect. But I'm going to be honest with you, it won't be perfect because nothing is. That's part of the human existence. And, um, generally... We as people just have to do the best we can to seek God and to try and understand divine will so that we can be what we are meant to be in this go round in this life and do the best we can. Um, generally after growing up in a Christian background, um, as I got older, I was very, again, heavily influenced, heavily involved in the church. Um, I began learning as much as I possibly could. I studied religion and Christianity very, very much. I was one of those like crazy Jesus freak people, honestly. So um, I was very involved in the church. And I know um, it's hard for a lot of people, especially those of the church, to probably believe that now. <laughs> but um, I was very involved. And, um, even people going to church sometimes didn't like me so much because I was more interested in reading about the religion and seeking God than I was being involved in secular hobbies, and I probably did take it a little too extreme, but I was going from a good place. I just didn't know where to go to seek things properly, but, um, as I got older, I went through a severe depression. And I was very sad when I started seeing holes in what I then considered to be my religion because um, a lot of it didn't make sense. There were, there were too many things, especially based on history and learning how the Christian religion massacred all kinds of people. And not only did the Christian religion massacre people to promote itself and force people into it, it it did a lot of other things like contradict itself like um, in one of the books it says do not take or remove or add from the books of the Bible yet <laughs> at the Council of Trent and the Council of Nicaea in history um, plenty of books were removed um, they used to be known as the Apocrypha and up until the 1900s that was still included in the Bible but after that point it was taken out it was considered to be um, something they were unsure about in the church, or they didn't like, or it didn't fit in their box, and they didn't think that it should be in there, basically. Um, a lot of it is um, considered now to be, from my understanding, Gnostic teachings. Um, Gnostic is like a pre-Christian religion that dealt mostly with um, what Christians believed, but it was more of a mystic type religion. And I find actually much more truthful and interesting to do research on. And um, I really enjoy what I do know of Gnosticism. Um, 
like all things. Um, there's still flaws in it too, in my opinion. And again, I stress my opinion. You know, I understand not everyone's gonna agree with everything I have to say in these videos, but I'm just saying them to try and help others as well as purge myself of my truth. Um, because I don't get to do that very often. Um, but over a period of time, um, I did go through this depression and this sense of loss. And that's another reason I don't normally talk about any of this with people because when I went through all this, it was a very big sense of loss where it just everything felt like it was crashing down and made it all the more worse because um, not only had I lost what I felt was my religion, I felt like I lost myself because I identified so much with it and during that time I didn't really know what to believe and I was so sad and in such a bad place I just thought for a while when there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing out there and I'm just going to be agnostic. You know, I know there's something, but I don't know what there is. And, um, then for a while I toyed with lots of other things like atheism. I even went uh, dark for a while and studied some darker religions that I probably won't talk much about. Um, not out of fear or shame, but mostly because honestly I don't know enough about them to talk about them because I was in my infancy of research and study. Um, and you know, I was somewhat ignorant then because I didn't know anything about karma or um, consequences. And so sometimes I had problems <laughs> because I didn't understand how things worked. And um, uh, that's kind of what I'm hoping to help others with is to help prevent some of those problems. Um, through time, uh, a friend of mine started studying Wicca and at first, of course, I was like, oh no! Wicca, that's, that's not good, that's, that's of the devil, but, <laughs> uh, given enough study, you realize, uh, no, it's, it's really not, uh, the devil's just another part of the Christian religion, and after you research Wicca, you realize it's far older than Christianity or most mainstream religions, um, since then I wasn't satisfied just learning about one and so I do my best to study everything I can come across. And I truly do love religion and theology, um, and I also love psychology. I incorporate that into many things. Um, psychology, especially arch, uh, archetype psychology or analytical psychology funded by Carl Jung, um, is very interesting if you want to to look more into psychology and the psychological aspects of the brain and how this all goes into things. It's very interesting because um, a lot of the earlier myths deal with this archetype psychology. So a lot of the things that we think, you know, have been around for since humans existed, you know, thoughts aren't new. Thoughts just keep going through certain patterns that everyone else has. And through them, get another way to find God because God is in everything. Well, I hope that this has answered some of your questions about me and I hope that I can be an enlightening force of light and goodness to help those who seek. And I bid you adieu. Merry and meet.